Hi there, this is Sujit from SG Canada and today we will be discussing how to configure XPROC to access ST Geometry in Oracle. I'll be using this particular web link as my reference. The web link is titled Configure XPROC to access ST Geometry in Oracle. I am using the ArcGIS Pro 3.3 version of this documentation. Whenever you try to configure XPROC, please make sure you are referring to the release of the documentation that is applicable in your scenario. The ST Geometry SQL function in Oracle uses a shared library that accesses Oracle through the Oracle XPROC or the Exp Oracle External Procedure Agent. Oracle needs access to the physical library for doing any of the following tasks that are mentioned here. The most notable one would be run ST Geometry SQL function from SQL clients. The first thing I like to do is go to the validate the XPROC configuration section and copy this particular SQL query. So what I'll do is I will run this SQL query through a SQL client and see what the output is. If the output looks something similar to this, that means XPROC is properly configured and you don't have to do anything. However, if you get errors similar to these, this means that XPROC is not configured properly and we can proceed with the steps in the documentation. For this demo, I'm using SQL Developer, but as I said, you can use any SQL client of your choice. I've established a connection to the Oracle GeoDatabase as the GeoDatabase Administrator, in this case, the SDE user. Now I will try to run the query here. Okay, so I'm not getting the results similar to this, which means my XPROC is not configured properly. Now that we have established that the XPROC is not properly configured, I like to go to the preparatory steps at the beginning of this documentation. As the documentation states, the ST Geometry Library is created for specific operating system. And you can get this library file from the MySRE page. I've logged into the MySRE page here and I'm at the download section for ArcGIS Pro 3.3. I have to go to the database support file section and this is where I can get the ArcGIS Pro ST Geometry Libraries for Oracle. You have different folders for different operating system. For this demo, I'll be using the Windows folder and I have now access to the ST Geometry shapelib.dll. To the documentation, we are at the preparatory steps. We have downloaded the necessary library folder from the MySRE page. The documentation says the Oracle instance must have access to the ST Geometry library. I've placed the ST Geometry library file in C drives in my libraries. In some cases, we have noticed that if you place the Oracle ST library file in a particular folder, sometimes the Oracle instance cannot access it, and it might give you some error when you try to see if the XPROC is configured correctly or not. In that case, you can try to place the ST geometry library file in the Oracle DB home location under bin folder, because the Oracle instance would have all the permissions in this DB home folder. In some instances, for example, while working with Microsoft Windows Server, you have to make sure that you are working with the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable package that is compatible with the ArcGIS version you're working with. You can refer to this documentation to find out which version of Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable package is needed. Next, we'll run this particular SQL query to check the path return and if it matches to the location where we place the ST geometry file, The path return from this does not match the location of the ST geometry file, so we'll move on with the next steps. I'm going to use the setXprocDLL only method that is mentioned in the documentation, so I'll copy this particular line, go back to my xproc.ora file, I will comment this line out, and then paste this line here. I want to make sure that it is pointing to the correct location where my ST geometry library file is placed. So I'll make sure I do this and press enter a couple of times and save this file. The documentation says you may need to restart the Oracle instance for it to identify changes made to the xproc.ora file. So that is what we are going to do. I've just finished restarting my Oracle instance and now we'll move to the next point. So it says, if you change the location of the ST geometry library file from the default location or no location was set, create or recreate the ST, lib, ST shape lib library in the Oracle database. 
To do that, you have to make sure you're connected as the SD user to create or recreate the SD geometry library. In this example, the SD library file was set to libraries directory on the Oracle Windows machine, which is what we have. So I'll copy this particular SQL statement. I'll, I have pasted the SQL statement in SQL developer and I'm going to run this query. Now I will try to run this SQL statement and see what the output is and if the path return matches the location of the ST shapelet library. Okay, so the path return is correct. The library file is indeed in C drive my libraries folder. So, so far so good. Next, if you recreated the library, recompile the SDE SD geometry shapelet package. So I'll do that. Please note that any clients that need access to the library, including web services, must reconnect to the database. So if you want, you might have to close your SQL client and reopen it. I've reopened a fresh session of SQL Developer. Now I will try to run this query and see if we get the proper result indicating that the XPROC is configured correctly. Okay, for some reason, the SQL statement is still failing. It still says invalid DLL path. So if I double check my path here, it is pointing to C, my library, stshapelib.dll. I'm back in the xproc.ora file and I've noticed here I have only single slash. So I'll try to add one more here, one more here. Save the xproc.ora file and restart the Oracle instance and see if I still run into the same error. I have to make sure I reopen the SQL developer session as well. So I've restarted my Oracle instance and SQL developer. Now I'll try to connect to it and then try to run the SQL statement again and see if it works fine. Okay, so that was it. So we have configured Oracle Xprox successfully for this Geo database. Lastly, whenever you upgrade the Geo database or need to update the ST geometry type, you must download or copy new versions of the library file to obtain the fixes and improvement please review the upgrade and the SD geometry library section for more details. That's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video and feel free to leave any comments and or suggestions. Lastly, if you would like to see more Esri Canada demos, you can subscribe to our channel using the subscribe button below the video. Thanks for tuning in.